infamous our difficulty good karma walkthrough this is Alden Strikes and this mission can be kind of a hassle at a certain point just because you're literally just going through like a giant maze um, <clears throat> and there's certain points where uh, these shipping containers will kind of like open up and a bunch of dustmen will pop out like I was I knew they were gonna come out but I hadn't moved close enough to spawn them to open the container so those first two grenades were fail and um, I think I beat the spawn on those two guys so I, I destroyed the walkway there so that I think when they spawned they had nothing to spawn onto so they just like fell to the ground um, <clears throat> And uh, there's a couple blast shards in this maze, but um, one of the side quest missions, uh, you come back through this maze. So any blast shards that you um, that you don't get during this mission, you can get uh, during that side quest. <clears throat> so. And this guy is a pain in the ass because um, he's shooting grenades at you. So the quicker you can take him out with precision, the better. Um, the less of a hassle he'll be. And I kind of failed there, but in this area and um, on the uh, on the turn, there's these two puddles of like gasoline or something that you can ignite and uh, kind of burn these guys so <clears throat> and uh, the other thing to be careful of over here is that there's a turret um, and then there's on like an upper level there's a there's a guy with a grenade launcher so. <clears throat> uh, it's kind of funny the first time I played through this game um, I kind of like glitched out this level because I didn't go this path originally. I kind of like glitched it where I was able to climb um, to the top of these shipping containers and I like completely bypassed like this whole section I think like the next part here. So when I got to the point where uh, you need to rescue Zeke from the cage he's in. Um, it wasn't triggering the little cinematic moment and I couldn't continue on the level so I had to um, abort the mission and restart it and uh, make it work properly because I had glitched it out pretty bad during that um, <clears throat> yeah, and I nearly killed myself with that grenade because it bounced off the the light so Oh yeah, uh, kind of be careful because I'm not sure if this guy on the top of these shipping containers is there all the time, but for me he was. And 
for some reason he took two headshot head shocks to take down so <clears throat> just kind of be cautious of um, that section because that guy may or may not always be there and this is another one of those sections where the shipping container opens up and a bunch of dustmen come spawning out of there <clears throat> And this section coming up here is kind of annoying because there's a turret there, but then they're also like dumping these uh, gas uh, tanks. But um, if you, like right there, if you're lucky, you can kind of ignite them and. Uh, kill a bunch of guys up there but the thing is I think once you move up the the ramp to a certain point the metal drums like kind of like stop rolling down so <clears throat> I nearly fucked myself here cause like <laughs> it had to be that it like bounced like towards me and blew up, so... And, uh, yeah. These, there's one guy on that side and one guy on the other side. So, kind of be cautious of them. Charging energy or electricity you have, and I just kind of went and grabbed this blast shard just because um, it was right there, and I just wanted to grab it then. <clears throat> um, yeah, you move up there, and the gate closes, but you can easily then just run up here and just chuck some grenades at them. Um, yeah, that's another section where um, I got the, gr the grenade stuck on the surface I was on, but luckily I had moved away enough where it, it didn't kill me or injure me like it's done before. And you get more of these little crab things to deal with and then a uh, couple guys on this upper structure here but <clears throat> just like before I just chuck a couple, uh, couple grenades up there and it should kill most of them you um, <clears throat> take out all those guys uh, this I kind of missed it here but uh, that opens up but it's only like a bunch of dummies it's kind of like it's supposed to be like a bit of a, a scare moment but I kind of forgot that that happened so I wasn't actually like looking at it when it happened but it's supposed to be like the first time you play and you get to that area because twice now you've had guys come out of shipping containers like that so it's just kind of like it happens and it's like oh it's just dummies god damn it but um <clears throat> that guy on the turret can be a pain in the ass just because you're trying to get to the ladder 
and not get killed at the same time. So. Yeah, this that whole area over there there's like a ton of dust men over there and there's a turret there too. So I was just spamming as many grenades over there as I could and just hoping I would get lucky and kill at least most of them. Um The pain in the ass thing is that once you kill the guy in the turret, there's other guys around, one of them will jump on that turret, so it it's really like, it's never safe to go in there, just because for some reason they can shoot you through the fence, but you can't shoot back at them through the fence. So like right now I could just headshot that guy, but because of the fence, it won't let me, but um... You'll see I, I move down, he's just lighting me up with that turret. So, it's kind of bullshit like that, but. So you're just like, but the game won't let me shoot lightning through the fence, so. Yeah, I finally got lucky. I knocked him off the turret. I didn't kill him, but I knocked him off, so I just ramboed over there and just just hit the lightning in that area until I was sure he was dead. Um, and make sure you charge up your electricity before you move on to this next area um only because you're gonna be dealing with like a bunch of dust men with like rocket launchers um and by this point I've I think I upgraded the megawatt hammer Can you hear me? I think to the second level of it the first or second level I can't remember what where I upgraded it to so that when I hit guys with the megawatt hammer it kind of um, sends them like floating through the air which is real handy um, for this little section here just because um, there's two there's two shipping containers with like two guys on them and uh, Like that first one I missed, but the second one, um, I kind of like hit right between them, and surprisingly it worked. And boom, say so they just go floating through the air. <clears throat> This is one of those moments where you can get that, I think it's called Blast and Bolt, where you take out an enemy, an airborne enemy with the lightning bolt. Um, and uh, coming up into this next section, I had this weird little glitch happen that um, it ended up failing me on the mission because I couldn't do anything but um, make it so that it failed, but I'm not gonna upload the thing, it's weird, it was like, all the way over there, there's like that couch there, and it was getting in my way, so I went and used the shock wave on it, but for some reason, the way it was, it like, hit into me, 
and it sent me like flying up into the air, like way over the structure. So that when I landed, I landed like all the way on like the very ground floor, like where that guy is, and it um, failed the mission on me because I guess by this point. Um, the way the checkpoint works is that if you fall down from here, um, instead of having to climb all the way back up here, the game just fails the mission on you and checkpoints you um, uh, on the other side of the shipping container where I was before I um, used the stack thrusters to get onto this container I'm on right now. But it was like, it, it's like such a weird glitch that happened because it, it totally surprised me. I was not expecting to go flying up into the air like I did. But, um... I'm gonna make sure I upload... I'm probably not upload it onto YouTube. Um, it... Depending on when you're listening to this voiceover, it might actually be the first video for involving infamous that I put on my YouTube channel um, <clears throat> but um, once you take care of all those guys uh, climb up here there's two dustmen to deal with and that will finish off uh, this mission What the trash baggers were up to. Are you insane? You're lucky they didn't kill you. What are you saying? That old Zeke needs to go back to his roof and just chill? That he's only good for a laugh and a beer, but when it's go time, he ain't worth a damn? That what you're saying, Cole? This isn't a game, Zeke. Not anymore. But just because you got powers doesn't make you better than everyone else. Not by a long shot. <laughs> 